The last loop that I'm going to discuss in the series is the for each loop, and that one is exclusively designed to work with the arrays within PHP. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove the code that I had here before, and we're going to focus in on the for each loop. So I need to create an array first, and so what I'll do is just go ahead and create a dollar sign um, day array. We'll just put days. And I'm going to set the values here for all of these. Depending on the structure you want of creating your um, particular loop, I'll just go ahead and, and since I have a small screen to work with, we'll just type it in this way, Monday, and then what I'll do is just repeat my code, and do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Just replace them. Saturday and Sunday. All right, so then I've got a array created now that's going to hold Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the days of the week itself. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and use something like the for each loop to work with the array. And so for each is the keyword that we need to type in there. And then within my statement itself, it's not like the other loops where we're checking to see if a condition is true. What we're going to do with the for each loop is it's going to run through each element of the array and then run the code for that. And so what I do is I'm going to start off by saying the, the array that I want to work with. So I'll start off with dollar sign days. And then what we need to do is we're going to pass it into the loop's code itself. Um, we're going to pass it into where the loop can actually perform actions within the curly braces that we'll have set up for it. So what I'm going to need to do is pass it in as a different type of variable. So I've got dollar sign days, and we're going to say as, and then we're going to go ahead and create something else. We'll just put dollar sign day. And so this is going to be each element of that. And I'll go ahead and close it with the uh, parenthesis, and we'll start with the opening curly brace, and we'll move down here and close ending curly brace. So just to simply show you what it's going to do, let's just go ahead and echo. We're going to echo out a variable. Now we cannot use the dollar sign days because that is the whole entire array. We're working with just an individual element of the array. So I'm going to go ahead and echo out just the dollar sign day, which is being passed in each element at a time. So we'll go ahead and put dollar sign day. And I'll go ahead and end that. And I'm going to go ahead and echo out a break tag now. And we'll go ahead and hit save and refresh. And I've got an error on line 16. Let's see, I need to put that in double quotes. And I'll go ahead and hit save now, and then refresh it. And you'll see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday have all been echoed out. So the loop runs through for each one of those elements. In fact, if you want to, just to verify it, what I could do is after the break tag, let's just go ahead and echo, and we'll just go ahead and say day and then close that and you'll see if I hit save and refresh after every one of those you'll see day gets inputted in there so the first time it ran through now I, I don't really want day to be there but just to show you how it works Monday runs through and then the second time it run, and it echoes out the word day I didn't put a break in there so the next time it runs through it echoes out the actual day itself not the dollar sign day I know it kind of is confusing so maybe I'll just change the word instead of day I'll just put in there name. I'll go ahead and hit save and refresh. And you'll see now that it echoes out name. So the first time it runs through, it echoes out the actual day. It echoes out a break tag. And then just the, the text that I entered in here, just to see how it works, is going to be just the name. So it'll echo out name. It runs back through again. And it's going to echo out Tuesday. Now, I didn't put a break tag in there. So you'll see that I didn't put a break between name and Tuesday. If I add a break tag in here, echo break tag and save it and then refresh my page you'll see that it goes Monday name then breaks to Tuesday name and then Wednesday name Thursday name Friday name Saturday name Sunday name and then it finishes so it actually runs through as a regular loop where it goes through each one of these elements of the array and then uses it and displays the actual element itself right there dollar sign day, it's my variable day, as each one of those elements that are part of the day's array. 
and so this is the for each loop and I, you may look at it and say well it's not that useful other than the fact that it displays each one of these that saves me a little bit of code what you'll notice it's going to be really useful when we start working with things like in the database and we're pulling out records which are going to be stored in as arrays and then we can display each one of those records or values of our fields of each record and so later on this will become a more useful loop within PHP.